Tell me, doctor, where are we going this time? I don't know what that song is. Sure you do. Oh, yeah. Gotta get back in time. Bum, bum, bum. Gotta get back in time. <laughs> Give me the chorus. That was the chorus. Oh, no, I don't know it. <laughs> back to the Future is Huey Lewis in the News is back in time from, from Back to the Future. Oh, it's in the, the credits. Yeah, it's the in thing. the credits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, don't recognize that one. You're young. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Back to our stupid Rex TV, it's up Corbin. I'm Huey Lewis. Happy Independence Day. Rock and roll, giant. Yeah, yeah. What, what year uh, independence is it for India this time? Uh, 47. Right. So, oh, I'm so so. 73 because my dad was born the year they had independence. So it should be 73. 70, 74. 74 this year. 74. Well, should be happy 74. Independence Day, India. Giant Obviously, hand, you've seen the title, hand. so we are doing a movie review. We wanted to do something to celebrate. Uh, Independence Day, and this one has been on the list for quite some time. And we've seen, we've seen I think every in, song. In we fact, every song. I think we've seen every song. I know, uh, like the first one was like the, the first, first, like what was one of the first rhythmic things we ever saw. And I think that was the thing that remember when we were like that was rhythmic, right? I think it was that song, but it was a different reaction that we looked back and we're like that was rhythmic. And I, yeah, and I was gonna say something, but I'll wait till we get into the review. Anyways, I'll say it. But yeah, so we've seen. Uh, I think every song. I believe, I believe it was every song. I'm really trying to think. Uh, if it wasn't, there's only one we didn't see. Yeah. Anyways, but obviously it came out, I believe, in 2004. The film is Lakshya. Uh, and it's directed by Farhan, Farhan Akhtar. Akhtar our, what was the first directorial film of his we saw? Good question. Because we've seen one other one. Uh... I don't remember. Dil Jahate. Really? Yeah. Why did I think that was his sister? Uh, no, that, that's uh, that's Farhan. He wasn't. He didn't just produce that. He did. He directed yeah, that. Right there. He mm, did well, produce there it. As, he did produce it as I, well. I I uh, man. But anyways, yes. So they directed by Farhan Akhtar, uh, and starring and grrr, starring Rithik, Pritha, and Amitak Bachchan with a very special appearance by. Om Puri. Om Puri. And uh, actually a few others, uh, yeah. including um, Amresh Puri yeah. as well, and our dost Pankaj. Yeah. But he was edited out, <laughs> which I'm very upset about. How, how, <laughs> why would you ever do that? I heard a story, though, that like this was like his first role. See, it was... Right? Right? First role. And so he took all of his family oh, to the theater. Oh, no. <laughs> and he didn't know he was cut out of the film. That's... I think that happened to Nawaz, too. Awful. I think I think we heard a story about that happening to Nawaz at the beginning. But that is... That is so bad. At least let him know. <laughs> I get it. I don't... Actually, if I see that clip, I don't know how you could cut Pankaj, honestly. Seriously, but that is the absolute worst. That is terrible. Anyways, oh. uh, this could be 100 spins for... It came out... 2004, uh, almost 20 years ago. Yeah. Uh, so I think mostly you've seen it. And in fact, I think it's more of a cult classic because at first a lot of people, it wasn't a big success. Did, but didn't, wasn't Rithik a success? Rithik at the time was already a success. Yeah. But, but, but the film itself okay. was not like a huge box office So success. it's kind of like a lot of films, obviously. Until later, later. And then it, obviously people uh, more appreciated it after that. Anyway, so once again, 100 cents spoiler review. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's on Netflix for us. I don't yeah. know if it is for you. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Well, and that is really kind of the test of a film, as if it stands the test of time. If, if you remember a film 20, 30, 40 years later, I think it was a success. Yeah. Um, I, I, my basic overall takeaway from the film is that a, it's a predictable, mm -hmm. yet thoroughly enjoyable film that shows that Farhan Akhtar can act and boy, can he get sound people around. I mean, can direct and get sound people around him. Yeah. Uh, and it, uh, I really appreciated Rithik. Yeah. Um, it, now that we're used to Indian films going, because you, you wouldn't see a serious military film have like some of the musical numbers in here, yeah. especially that one where he's doing the, the, yeah. the right? The, the thing we saw at the very right. beginning, almost two and a half but, years ago. But, I'm, I'm really beginning more and more to appreciate that style of Indian cinema for what it was and what it has meant as a thumbprint of the yeah. DNA of Indian cinema. So it's not an award-worthy film, but it's still, to me, 
the biggest part of it that I think is really nice is it was a great choice for us to watch because I think anybody watching this, while they wouldn't be moved like they would some, like Saving Private Ryan, yeah. I still think this is enough to make even a non-Indian say Jai Hind. And it, yeah. it's predictable, but I still enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely. I did as well. Uh, there were, I, I think it's probably the same part for you, the, the, the flashback was probably, it was definitely my least favorite part. Right. Um, but, it, it, like, I'll, I'll compare it to almost Dil Kuch Kuch Hotai, even though it's nowhere near as cheesy, nowhere near as over mm -hmm. the top. And I'm not saying it's yeah, no, like that. no cheese in But this. obviously they did the thing where, obviously, these people who look like they're 35 tried to be <laughs> basically teenagers again. Right. And then they did some, you know, weird, quirky teenager stuff. <laughs> so in that aspect, it was a little similar. But uh, the rest of it, like, it started off great. Really, Which I'm yeah. assuming is what your, your, your tweet or whatever it was about. Yeah, just as it got started, because I tweeted this and I put it on Instagram, I was just, the, it started and the credits were rolling and we're going and I'm seeing the, the title and it's you know, directed by Farhan and I, I know we're getting into this military movie and it's Independence Day and I was just overcome with emotion. It's yeah. like, I'm so grateful that these names, Farhan Akhtar, Amitabh Bachchan, Rithik Roshan and Preeti and all the other yeah. people in it, it's like, this has so enriched my life, and I was anticipating it to be good because of the players involved. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it started off real, real good. Uh, like the scene with him, Amitak Bakshan talking to him. Big Obviously, guy. Big B's Big B. Um, and then when it transferred over, it's not that it was bad. It's just it wasn't as engaging to me. And I know why they did it. Obviously, the story's about a, a guy who has no direction or objective right. I guess is the objective name. Objective is the word, yeah. Uh, in his life and he's kind of just like a slacker, comes from a well-to-do family right. that can, if he wanted, he could go get a job with his dad if he wanted to. I get I get all that. It's just some of the stuff was a little cheesy, like when he's in the military and he's just off looking and he's like, mm -hmm. you didn't have to be that on the nose with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant by, yeah. I, the other word I had in addition to predictable was simplistic. So like, for example, later on when uh, Preeti and her fiance, mm -hmm. we, you knew they were going to break up. Mm -hmm. The way that they did it at the dinner table was so simplistic and so easy in the writing. Yeah, I did, but, I did but love that forgivable. scene for her, Preeti, though. For her, yeah, absolutely. And, but it was, again, yeah, it was forgivable. Anyway. Even though it was predictable, it was forgivable. But yeah, so it started off great, and then it got into that. But uh, my favorite parts were when it actually got back to him in the military. That's my that favorite was, part. And, and then obviously the great... I think, um, battle scene at the end, especially for 2004. Yeah, agreed. I thought Farhan did a fantastic job with that. So let's just get into this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rithik. I think this is one of his strongest performances. I 100% agree. Outside of the, maybe the, the little cheesiness from the, from the flashbacks. I think this, Jota Akbar, I mean, I think he did well in Super 30 as well. Uh -huh. um, but this is one of his strongest performances, I believe. I agree. This is one for me where I, 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 I already liked Rithik and already was rooting for Rithik, right? Um, but watching him here, this is like you see all the potential inside of this guy for being a solid actor and a hero, mm -hmm. fully believable in the character. Obviously a great dancer. A great dancer, very believable with all of the military training he had to do and all of the military ops he had to do. Yeah. Um, and the moments where, in, even in the, the songs, but also in <laughs> moments where he's just being pensive, like one of his best moments that could have been so bad with an actor that's not as good was when he's standing looking at the ridge and she's there and he's like, I have an objective now and he points up to the peak. Mm -hmm. It was a beautiful moment for him, I thought, yeah. where a lot of other actors would have, it wouldn't have been there and I felt like he was fully invested and another, it, it, it raises the bar for me. For another Rick. another great scene, I think, with him and Preeti was actually when she came to the, the base and the song was going on and they were just staring at each other from, I love that song. from yeah. opposite sides. Even yeah. though I think we saw that, it obviously meant more here because we were more attached. Yeah, I was watching it and I was like, oh yeah, the guy sitting next to her, that's not a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> but they were just, for a while, just staring at each other. Once yeah. again, one of the hardest things to do, uh, even though it looks so simple, but to look like you're actually engaged and to look like what you're, you can tell what they're thinking about in their it's brains. Like commercial acting. Yes, it's, at which... Commercial acting oh, is one of the hardest things you an actor will ever have to do. Man, it's one of the worst audition things. <laughs> it's, it's awful where all you're doing is sitting there and you don't have the track playing to give you the emotional context. What you've got is a director saying, okay, now be, seem to long for her even more. Okay. 
and you're looking yeah. for a motivation. You're tra yeah, you're just everything about it is so hard to be real. And they yeah. were both great. Yeah, I thought yeah. she, I thought did very well. Like I said, I love that scene, even though the, like you said, the film is a little predictable, but obviously at the time in Bollywood, yeah, maybe not, right. uh, but obviously we're in 2001, I mean, 2021. I think the graphic nature uh, of it was pretty shocking. Yes. For, for that time. Uh, but the, the, her scene where she was actually a strong, independent woman. Yes. But she was like, hold on, what the what the fuck are you trying to say to me right now? Right. You're trying to say I can't, I right. can't do what I do because you're going to be my husband. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks. Thanks. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Not going to do that. So I love that because obviously I, if people are mistreated like that, I never want them to stay in those awful sure. relationships. Sure. So, and you, you don't get to see that often because obviously I think it was a very good scene because with Indian culture, we see that a lot in films. Another thing with Indian yeah. culture that was represented that I, this is one of my favorite parts of the film was his relationship with his dad mm -hmm. and the way that that was depicted because- Great scene on the phone. Yeah, the two scenes, so well, there's several scenes, but the first thing you get relationally is the challenge, the, the, the quintessential challenge. But the dad, with the balance of the mom, he didn't come off as an asshole you kind of understood where he was coming from. He was being a bit of a hard on about things, yeah. but you kind of, when he, when he was explaining to him, my dad did this and I did this, and now we had hopes for you. He wasn't being the quintessential jerk. You kind of had some empathy for the dad, but that phone call, oh, yeah. when he says, I love you, dad. Great scene with both of them. And the dad says, I love you too. I believed it and loved it. And yeah. I, I felt for, a, for a, a culture who has consistently talked about how in film, you don't see a lot of emotionally available men, and especially yeah. dads and sons. That's probably one of my favorite dad and son moments in Indian yeah. film. I thought, it, I thought it did very well, and that, that speaks to um, Farhan, and I, I will get into him in just a second. I want, there's just a few more people. Um, I'm gonna talk Bakshan. <laughs> He's exactly what you wanted. He's just so good. He's exactly what you want. Yeah, and it's, I, I think this is the first time we've seen him in the military, and I 100% believed him in yep. this kind of um, officer, or was he an officer? Or was he a? He was, he was a, a commanding command, officer. Commanding yeah. officer uh, in the army, and he. But he carries this this weight with him that you you just believe, and mm -hmm. he's never he's just never bad. The dude is so good. Yep. And I love the the appearance of Ompori. I love I the, too. Uh, him and and you got to oh I, I think one scene from Amresh Bori as well. Mm -hmm. um, and that was that was great to see, but I, yeah, I thought I'm gonna talk about you did a great job. As did all of the other supporting guys that were soldiers with him, because a lot of the times you'll have something like this, and some of the other supporting folks around you weaken it. And I didn't think they did. I, like for example, when I forgot his name, but he's the guy that comes back um, who was supposed to put the flag up, yes. and he's just all torn up. And the buddy who's trying to sell him up and telling him you're gonna put the flag up when he dies his response to him dying was believable. And oftentimes when you have a, an actor in a, a smaller role like that, they are cliche or they're uncomfortable and you can see it because the camera doesn't lie. But I felt like everybody that was in there yeah. did, a, did a very solid job. The commanding job. officers that were trying to attack with them, though, some of them that died, once again, this is a spoiler review, um, I thought did really good jobs. Me too. Um, so I liked them all. Farhan is, I think he's, obviously we loved him as an actor. Yeah. I think that's where we first fell in love with Farhan. Is yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a really good actor. The man knows how to direct. He sure does. And I think this is, he, even though we enjoyed the Chahatai, I think this is even more impressive. This one, this one, he got to flex his muscles and I actually thought to myself, I'd like to know if Mel Gibson saw this film. For if, Hacksaw? For Hacksaw, man. Because, I mean, granted, Hacksaw is a true story, but there were a lot of things sound-wise, um, image-wise, the way they were shot that were so hacksaw reminiscent mm -hmm. that I thought, I wonder if this is one of the military films that Mel watched mm -hmm. that gave him inspiration because it reminded me so much of hacksaw. Yeah, so I don't know how much he's directed. I know he's directing the new uh, Priyanka oh, yeah, Ali and Ali Ali yes, yes. Uh, film that Zoya's writing. Yes. So that's very exciting. <laughs> yes. What an exciting development that we're gonna get next year, hopefully. The whole, uh, the whole scaling the wall thing was so good, I couldn't tell if we were looking at green screen or we were looking at a construction that was done with optical illusions or yeah. if they really found a cliff. Yeah, and, and you said sound at the beginning. One of the biggest points of a war film is the sound editing and the sound mixing. Um, and so I, I thought it did a fantastic job. Fan-freaking-tastic. Yeah. 
the the as far as like the the, the caliber that's like we don't get to talk about the top sound. the sound in this was just absolutely it was it was whoa sorry Harry? It was, get out of here it was oh crap it's alexis uh i'll call her back when we're done because she's in new york okay um Harry, get out of here <laughs> uh <laughs> the, the again going back to hacksaw the team that did the sound for hacksaw was the team that also did all of the sound for the lord of the rings films mm -hmm. so they won oscars for lord of the rings and i went to a screening of, of hacksaw where mel was there and the the team of sound and i wanted them to win and they did hacksaw got sound mixing and sound editing yeah the sound in this was as good as Hacksaw Ridge. Yeah. The sound was unbelievably good. Yeah, and usually you don't get to talk about sound unless you're watching a war film or I guess at least a big action film. Big action film because that's where it's most noticeable. Or or like last year, the sound Oscar went to Sound of Metal because of yeah. the nuances of what they were doing to portray his deafness. Yeah. So most of the time, most it's going to be time. a big sci-fi action kind yeah. of film. Um, but yeah, I thought... With all of that, I thought Farhan did a, a fantastic job weaving the story. And also, especially for this time, everybody, for the most part, outside of some times and flashbacks, was very grounded in yes, their performances. Absolutely. Uh, outside of the, a few times when it, it not, at least once again, it's not like Kuch Kuch Alta Hai, SRK, and Kajol in, in the beginning over the top. But there was a few times that it was just a little over the top uh, by they're trying to show that they're teenagers yeah, yeah, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. But outside of that, like, especially for 2004 in Bollywood. <laughs> it's, a, it's a credit to Nandini Shurkent, the casting director, mm -hmm. with, with Farhan. I think it's a lot of Farhan because this is his style. Yeah, he's, well, he, the director has the final say. Yeah, in, he's in like, I, I don't want, <laughs> he's not Karen Johar. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and even, even the really smaller roles, like toward the end when they're going up the hill and we actually go and we see the Pakistani soldiers up at the top. Yeah. They were actually quite grounded and quite believable. They a lot of times, cliche. actually, ex until the end, a lot of the Pakistani actors, you didn't, they didn't get faces. No. That's a, a, a choice by Ooh, Farhan. An to, excellent choice to uh, depersonalize. Depersonalize it, and it's, it's just it's a people that, that they're fighting against. I, I do have a question. Um, I, not that this is a little small thing, and it's not a problem I have at all. I just noticed this, that when he got to the top, and maybe it is, when he took the flag out, mm -hmm. It may just be an American thing. I know for like American soldiers and Americans, oh, really? on the ground. don't let the flag touch. The yeah, ground. I don't know what their flag code is. Yeah, so I, I, I'm assuming it's not the same code, mm -hmm. but I wanted to know because that would be something to just. But teach also, me. that's that's often when it's just um, like like uh, putting it up and putting down it up. in very particular places. Obviously, if they're in battle, they're they're not really as concerned. Yeah, um, and it didn't in any way yeah. bother me or distract me. I'm assuming- It just was a thought I had when he did it. I'm assuming their code is probably similar. similar. A lot of military codes with flags, yeah. they're very honoring of their flag. Yeah. Um, so I'm assuming it's pretty, but I noticed that as well. Um, cause my dad, when I was younger, he taught me how to fold it and everything. And yeah, all it's that just always been a foregone to, you know, um, it just doesn't touch the ground. But I understand in that situation, you know, he's he's limping. And we didn't talk about the songs, but we'd seen most of the we'd songs. Seen, and they're great. They're great songs. Um, it's it's super interesting to see that first one where he's like, I have, why am I like this song that we saw almost two and a half years ago. I no know. context. I had it. forgotten it was in this film. So did I. And when it happened, I thought, okay, this is one of the things about, this is what people who love like Bollywood Indian cinema love because no one else does this mm -hmm. where else would you see a movie that's this mixture of like hacksaw ridge and a quirky mtv video mm -hmm. only here yep and it it, it was great uh i, and then I his, enjoyed it his proposal song and then his, yes i thought he i thought he was an idiot <laughs> like she was all multiple times in this thing she was like hey i want to get back to you he's like no nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah well, let's wait let's wait <laughs> Okay, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, you got, you, you, uh, I think he, it's because one, at one point he thought she was engaged or she, she was engaged. Oh, she was engaged. I guess. found that out. Yeah. Um, but I didn't like that engaged guy. I'll tell you that. Yeah. I didn't like him. Yeah. Me too. Uh, as an actor or as a person. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, I think I, I think I mostly, I, I liked everybody in this. I did for the most part him too. At, it was one, and then I can't think of another one that all everybody, everybody in the whole military was great. 
anytime they were there and it was a clear it, the one time the quirkiness did make me laugh though in the in the flashback was when he fell off the thing when he, when he was climbing up the thing and he's like this is gonna oh, be so easy yes <laughs> he just, yes and he it just, caught me off guard and, and he waved like, and he i laughed yeah <laughs> <laughs> it made me laugh. Anyways, uh, so yeah, there you go. Hey. We enjoyed it. If uh, let us know what we don't know, I guess. Yeah. And why we're or wh what we missed. What, what, what? Why we're dumb. I know um, we. I know we probably missed a lot of different things because one of the things we didn't talk about is not just we talked about all the technical and the artistic, but we're learning more and more about the the LOC. Oh yeah. yeah. The tensions between Pakistan and India, as well as other countries like China. The, the, the complexity of Kashmir and yeah. all those things. What I appreciated is that this didn't get too into that. It was more about just this yeah. one area. One, yeah. And I think this is a good film for a lot of reasons. If you wanted people to really get a taste of like a, a Bollywood film, mm -hmm. and I know a lot of people don't like that term, but it's its own kind of thing. This falls into that category. And I think it's got with seriousness, it's got seriousness, the, it's got the great m musical numbers. And it really does give you an introduction because most people in the West are clueless, us included, uh, about what the military history has been in the region over there between India and the powers that be in that whole area. And I think this would give people enough interest to go, wow, I should learn more about that. Yeah. I, what's, what's the line of control and what? I've heard about Kashmir before. I think it would cause them to have interest. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So let us know uh, what's the next Farhan film and uh, Preeti as well, um, but Rithik. Let us know what should be our next Rithik Roshan film. What's your favorite Rithik Roshan film? I always forget he's in Luck by Chance, even though I was pleasantly surprised he was in Luck by Chance. Yeah, um, it's but, but it's still gonna be Deborah for me. Still Deborah. Yeah, yeah. This is this is a real this is really close up there. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, there isn't a, a Rithik film I don't like. There are some performances of him I like better than others. What about Gersnet? That's 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 the one that you didn't. That's like? the the I like the film. I felt like we said in the review there were certain aspects of the performance I would I would genuinely love to talk to him because he may help me clarify you know his process and what he was doing but at first at first glance that's the only performance of his where I had some questions all the other ones I've enjoyed yeah yeah same I like Joe Akbar. That's still my, I think, my it's favorite of that. It's just an easy it's watch. It's so good. Anyways, let us know what the next one should be. And happy Independence Day. Jay and, Han. uh... How's it, Josh? Hi, sir. Okay. Thanks. <laughs>